as family nurses, we work very closely with social care. Um, we work very closely with housing. We work with enhanced midwives. We work with the midwifery teams. Um, we work with the GPs. So we'll be calling the GPs, um, you know, sharing if things need to be shared. Always, you know, we'll be chatting to families and they may need some help with other areas. Um, so whatever their agenda is, we sort of help them reach those network of people and we'll bring them all together. We can be like that one person who the family can ring and we can coordinate things for them. I was only 17 when I got pregnant so I think that helped because I didn't have a clue what I was in for. <laughs> and any concern we've got about Isaac or when I was pregnant, I'd phone her straight away and she'd tell me what to do. At any at any point, any yeah. time of the day. This is very um I don't know to, what's the word I'm looking for. Very like stable. Yeah, like it's like it's your own unit, do you know what I mean? And because she's been there for so long supporting us, with this we know what to expect. And the services we get we 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 like, like. What we see a lot with, with clients is they might ring and say, Michelle, I can't get an appointment to the doctors. I'm really worried. Uh, what do you think this is? But I've been trying all day to get through. So I can then try and make an appointment, but I can struggle as well. You know, so sometimes you think, if I'm struggling to get in touch with this social worker or this GP or this um, consultant or, you know, a follow-up appointment, you can see, <laughs> you can see the struggles that you know parents are having. If you know professionals are having that struggle as well between other services, so yeah, better communication.